morning. Good Saturday morning. What a great day we have. God has blessed us with, you know what I say, every Saturday morning, this is the day which the Lord has made. I will, you need to make that personal, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of what happens, this is the day God has made for us. Thank you for joining us this morning. You are tuned in to the Growing by Going radio broadcast. We're here every Saturday morning, 9 a.m., and we thank God that you are here. I am Apostle Elmo Winters, and I'm joined today by my lovely wife, Lady T. Say hello. Good morning. It is a joy to have her with me. I can now flow like I'm supposed to, and I thank God she's here with me. You want to see how lovely she looks this morning. We thank God for you again, and we are just so blessed today because we have another guest. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but we have a guest in the house today. I promise you, she will bless you and leave you saying, I want to know more. And we thank God for you being with us. As always, we encourage you, pick up that phone, call us. You can do it this morning by calling 926-1550 or area code 225-926-6550. You can call and ask our guests a question. You can call and ask for prayer requests. You can do whatever you like. We want to just hear from you. And again, we thank God for you. I suspect today we have a number of new listeners, and we pray that God will impress upon your hearts to continue to tune in every Saturday morning to this station, 1550 AM WPFC, and hear the Growing by Going radio broadcast. It blesses us to know that you're out there, and we like to believe that we are being a blessing to you. So thank you for listening again, and I will say that several times because we are so humbled that you're with us. Let me give you some contact information about where you can get more information about uh, Growing by Going, about the Kingdom Group. We are just available for you, even after we finish the broadcast. We are available. You can go to www.kingdomgroup.co, and you need to do it today. You can determine what you want to look at there. Once you go, you can surf through the whole site. You can connect to our Facebook page. You can get the YouTube broadcast. We want you to go over and sign up for the Kingdom School of Witnessing. I will talk briefly about that in just a moment, but you must go there and buy your book, Growing by Going. I suspect that many people have the book, and if you don't, then get one today. Go to the site. There are so many other things that we're doing. We want you to know that we're constantly adding to the site. So if you've been there once or twice and you think you don't need to go again, go. You will be surprised. We're adding, and we want you to be a part. If you read the book, even if you've gone to see the movie that we promoted so much in the last few weeks, War Room, if you've gone to the school, you can even leave a testimony on the site. So it's for you. Use it. We want to hear from you. We need the feedback. We need to know that you are listening. You are following us. It's a blessing to us, and we just thank God for you. Okay, I've talked enough. I think it's important at this point that we bring on our guests. And I get so excited when we have somebody else in the studio with us. And today we have a dear, dear woman of God. I call her a special lady who is making a difference in our community, Miss Beth Townsend. Welcome today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We are so blessed to have you with us. And really, I need to just say to you, to your face, what I said behind your back, I am glad that you are doing what you're doing for our city. And it blesses me as we get an opportunity to talk about how God is using you. But first of all, tell us something about Beth Townsend. Who is she? What is she doing? Well, I, um, I'm a writer, first and foremost. I was I'm from Mississippi. And my husband is from Louisiana, so that's Amen. how we ended up back here. Amen. And uh, my thing is passion. I believe that if all the Christians in the world just stood, stepped into what they believe God had called them to do with this sense of confidence, that we would be so infectious because we would be so excited about our lives 
that we wouldn't really have to say anything other than God is real. Amen. He is alive. Amen. And so that's just, I've been interviewing people for a long time for magazine articles, for various publications. Amen. And just very excited to be able to tell the stories of what God is doing. He's, he's not gone anywhere. He's not left us. He's very much here. Amen. So we're just able to tell the stories about what he's doing in the lives of many people. And uh, we're very encouraged because every day we're hearing about new people that are stepping up and they they felt called into ministry, and and they're stepping out and they're making things happen. Amen. So we're excited. It's it's very encouraging. And I'm encouraged by having you here today. Uh, we met Beth some months ago as we were looking at or going through a pre-screening of one of the movies. And I like what you said a moment ago because God is not dead. God is alive. God is very actively moving in our community, moving in our lives. And people need to hear that. Right. Where all hope is gone, people need to know that God is still working miracles. He is. He's still doing great things. So I believe you have an avenue that where you promote these things. You are telling people not just with your voice, but tell us a little bit about what you're doing in Baton Rouge. Well, we're, we're, we're doing this magazine. We're printing 10,000 copies each month. Our goal is, is, is simple, to bring unity to the body of Christ, to bring unity to those uh, resources and the people that have the needs, to, to bridge the gap of who has what and who needs what so that we can all come together. Um, we just think that we can be a city that starts this W wonderful thing that just shows what unity really looks like. Amen. And so that's that's what we're uh, we're doing is we're just telling the stories that bring people together. Bring we, we want to be a service as much as anything else to mm. the people of the city that have the ministries that have the call on their life that they're stepping out and they're doing things so people know um, who is out there uh, doing great things and uh, bringing about ministry stories at business, at work, in the mission field. There's just so many wonderful stories that um, we're excited. We've got a lot of stories to tell. Wonderful. You know what I love about the magazine, and I actually have a copy in my hand right now. The magazine does not focus on just ministers or ministries or prominent people, but their families, mm -hmm. individuals who've gone through things in their lives, who have had to go through recovery, and just everyday, regular, normal people. Mm -hmm. And that's a wonderful, wonderful feature of the magazine. Uh, I love it. Since the very first time I picked up a copy, I have been just impressed with the work that's there. Tell us anything else more you can about the magazine itself. Well, it's, it's completely testimony driven, so Amen. it's not affiliated with any churches, and we have a wonderful team of people that are, are writers, they've come forth, and I mean, God just assembled this um, wonderful group of people that write, that have creative ability, that can, can come alongside me and help put this together, so... Um, we go out, we interview people, um, and we, we, we record them, we come back, we tell the stories, and um, we don't have do's and don'ts. We're not telling anybody, you, you, you got to go di do this or you need to go do that. Amen. We're Amen. just letting the people tell what God has done in their life because we hope that ultimately encourages others to believe that he will do that in their life as well. Amen. It's not any particular denomination. Mm -hmm. It's not promoting anything but the cause of Christ. Exactly. That's what we love. And I can attest that you can read it and it will bless you, encourage you, motivate you. The kind of things that we want to do here with our broadcast. That's why I bet this is a part of what we're doing. I also believe that God does not do anything by coincidence. I believe God brings his people together mm -hmm. for the same cause. Uh, we call it not by coincidence, but by the providence of God. He brought us together and we're able to build the kingdom of God. And we're so blessed, Beth, that you and the Christian Life magazine is a part of what we're doing. Uh, where can we get the magazine? Where is it available? Well, we're in many, many places around town, but we're in the YMCA's. We're in all of the Amen. YMCA's. Amen. We're in the libraries. We're very excited to be in the libraries. We're in uh, each of our advertisers um, has uh, magazines. They're on the back of the last page, that, the listings. Mm -hmm. Many coffee shops, many restaurants, um, just various places that... Um, 
grocery stores. We've, we've, we've been very fortunate that most of the people that we've gone in and said, would you like to be a distribution point for our magazines? Almost all have said, yes, we would love to. So um, we're, we're in the five major counties. That's so good. we're spread out pretty wide. And um, we're, we're adding places each month. A lot of churches. We're in a lot of churches. We're very excited to be in many churches because we are the only Christian magazine. We have some friends that are doing a Christian newspaper, and we're good friends with them as well, so mm -hmm. uh, we get to work with them, but between the two of us, if we could just get the good news out and just continue to build upon uh, what God is really doing, Amen. then Amen. Um, we can get those good stories out there and just encourage people. Amen. Well, you brought up two points. Uh, well, I brought up one point. I'm going to make two of them, but first of all, this magazine is available for any ministry or church that yes. would like to be a distribution point. Absolutely. How can people become one? What can they do? They can email us or they can call us. Um, my email is listed on the website, which is Baton Rouge Christian Life Magazine.com, but it's Beth at Beth Townsend.com. It's very easy to remember. Or they can call or text at 225 910 7426. And just let us know, hey, we want some magazines, and Good. we'll add that to the distribution point. And um, trying to include anybody who wants to do that, and it's it's been it's been a lot of fun to have people excited to, to host us. And we have a lot of advertisers that we could not have done this. I, I like to tell them each month, like you guys, that y'all are really the owners of the magazine because mm -hmm. we're just the facilitators of the message you're you're putting get, getting behind mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we're very fortunate to have people who believe with us that's good in what we're doing because apart from that we would just be sitting at home wishing we had a magazine that's good <laughs> I, I do understand that and if you heard what Beth said correctly if you're sitting there and you're thinking about our church would love to have a bundle of these magazines you can get them and what happens near the end of every month the, there are people that go out out and distribute them and there have been several companies and people we're affiliated with that we have advised uh, talk to them about the magazine and they are getting them now once a month your church your ministry your business your office can get a stack of the magazines because we want them to get out into the hands of those who need them Beth, I'm going to ask you one more time, give us the contact information in case somebody wasn't prepared the first time. Okay, email is beth at bethtownsend.com, and cell phone number is 225-910-7426. All of that is also on our website, which is batonrougechristianlifemagazine.com. Let me add also that we have a Facebook page that we hope to become the hub of Christian activity. So if you want to, if you have an event good. that you want to tell people to attend or invite people to become a part of, uh, we're using that to, be, to as a service as much as anything else to just bring the, the community together to know what is being offered by, by churches, by ministries, by service projects. Amen. And uh, we, we really want that to become a place people can go to to find out, you know, where can I go help? Where can I get involved in something? Amen. I was going to mention that in a minute about how if you have an event, definitely get in touch with the mm -hmm. Baton Rouge Christian Life magazine. Now, the second point I want to make is the fact that this magazine costs zero. Right. I love the price of the magazine. <laughs> it is free. And you can get a stack distributed to your church. And perhaps if you have a large church, you can get two stacks. The goal is to get the magazine into the hands of someone and everyone, actually, and even those who may not know Jesus, because I'm convinced this can be a tool yes. to get them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why you're here. Now, another thing I need you to comment on is, as you mentioned a moment ago, we advertise mm -hmm. in the magazine. The uh, Kingdom Group is one of the advertisers. Yes. Why would one want to advertise in this uh, magazine. What would be a benefit, you would say, for someone who's contemplating advertising? Well, from a business perspective, we're, we print 10,000 copies each month, and we're read by about 22,000. So you do get your message out. It's, mm -hmm. a very, uh, it's a very good opportunity to reach people with your business or mm -hmm. what message you want. But it also supports the community in such a way and brings awareness to uh, the good things in our city. Amen. And we need some some good news. And Amen. people have been very encouraged by 
the positive stories and uh, you know we need a a shift in atmosphere oh, where we start to yes. feel really good about where we live who we are where we're going and um that's that's another reason to advertise because you know as we grow we grow in messages we grow in stories yes. and we, we reach more people for christ amen i heard it say ten thousand. i love to see when you come back again on the radio broadcast to say now we're up to 30,000 or 50,000 mm -hmm. because then it's getting into the hands of more and more people. Mm -hmm. And contrary, my listeners, to what you may be feeling or seeing or sensing in the media, this is still a great time to be in America, yes. to be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We have a message that the world must hear. Yes. And it's not always heard in the church. You can read your Bible, but sometimes it is good to get away from uh, some of the things we're doing, get a magazine, and read this. Uh, you were telling me earlier, I thought it was impressive, that you are now available even in the public libraries. Yes, we are. We're very excited to be able to be there. They called, and they it's, it's a very quality publication, and you yes. know, they recognized it, and um, they asked to be included on our distribution, and we're very glad to do that. Amen. The great thing I think about a lot of our stories is that they're very, uh, they're real. Amen. We're not covering up people's mistakes and mm -hmm. we're not putting a pretty picture out there. I mean, it is a pretty picture in the end, but we're telling real stories of redemption. We're telling real stories of grace and forgiveness. Amen. And we're, people are burying their souls yes. and yes. sharing what they have learned by being a Christian and what the saving grace of Jesus. So yes. we, yeah. we're very excited about that. Amen. And I know we've talked in the, pre, in the past about uh, every month just by has a certain theme in the magazine. And that tells me that the magazine is designed, it is promoted to reach people of all walks of life. Everyone, mm -hmm. hunters, right. uh, people that may not normally read a magazine or mm -hmm. even may not even go to church. Right. This is still designed for you. And as you said a moment ago, it is professionally done, very colorful. I'm looking at this cover. This is a, a beautiful cover, and this is how they all are. And I thank God for that. Uh, I want to turn here and look at a certain advertisement in here from the Kingdom Group. It's done in very good color. Got me looking pretty good here it's in the done. magazine, you know. Yes. But we thank God so very much for your work, what you're doing. And I'm asking the listeners who are very supportive of what we're doing to get behind the magazine, to go to your pastors, go to your leaders, go to your bosses or whatever and say, let's put this magazine in our place of, of business. Let's get it out there. It costs the church nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the fact you bring it out uh, and people can distribute them. Anybody got a question, call me. If, if you got some concern, if you have uh, anything you're not sure about, uh, I'm going to ask Beth in just a moment to give the contact information one more time because one of the things we do, we get we give our contact information over and over and over right. so that people can mm -hmm. write it down and go to the website, go to the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. But we do have a few minutes. I thought we would not have the time to do this, but Beth uh, and the Christian Life uh, Magazine, Baptist Christian Life Magazine and uh, the Kingdom Group and a number of other Groups came together and we promoted the movie War Room. Oh, I love it. What a joy it was to be on the cutting edge of Christian movies coming mm -hmm. into our television, uh, coming into our movies theaters. Uh, it Was it a wonderful movie? It was a wonderful movie. I saw it three times because I was, I was helping try to promote it. And each time I got something new out of it and I learned, I laughed. Oh, yes. you know, the whole theater's laughing. I mean, yes. that's, a, that's the thing about being a Christian is it, it can be so much fun. Yes. And so I think the movie brings that out, and it reminds us to go back to our knees with the troubles in our lives and, and take that and, and have a battle strategy yes. in yes. prayer because that's where the power happens. That's Amen. where the, 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 the miracles happen. And it just is a great reminder of uh, going back to that basic fundamental prayer, read your word, uh, you know, just that relationship with the Lord is your first and foremost, and and then letting the rest of your life flow out of that, because yes. then you're walking more in the spirit, less in the flesh, Amen. and you're, you're more 
you're more of a witness that way. Amen. Uh, we're thankful as we called names out last Saturday of those who actually attended. We had about 50 people come together with us mm -hmm. and go last Friday night. And I was anxiously waiting for the results, for the rankings, and we got them that this movie just blew it out of the water last week. I'm and we, so excited. I, I am as well. In fact, uh, they're, they're on Facebook, if you just go on Facebook look at War Room, you will find a lot of reviews, a lot of information. But it's so wonderful to hear the interviews of the stories about people having to be asked to leave the theater because they want to get together and group and pray and mm -hmm. so on. And that is taking a movie from just being an entertaining mm -hmm. uh, to, to a practical to. Well, exactly. In our church, I attend chapel on the campus, and we're really putting a big emphasis on prayer. Amen. And so they bought a theater. And it sold out, and there were people that we, you know, weren't able to go because mm. it, it sold out so quickly. And yes. just a great opportunity to come together with friends and family and churches to, to support something. I mean, we ought to be the first in line to support these great Christian movies and make them, make them hits because when it all comes down to it, the dollar counts, and when we make those movies successful, they're going to make more of them. Amen. I need to correct something I know I've said in the past, and I've learned this week that it's not quite accurate. I said that it's important that we go on the opening weekend. Yes. And we did go, and I mm -hmm. remember saying uh, after that, it doesn't really matter to the movie industry. That's incorrect. It does. Right. As a result of what happened last weekend, we've learned that uh, the movie's being released in at least another 400 theaters across the nation. As more people go and demand to see the movie, it will open in more and more places. So if you're listening and you have not gone, you don't know, you don't know what I'm talking about, get a paper, newspaper, and determine where it's playing and go see this movie. It is a wonderful movie that will change your life, change your family, even change your ministry. And I thank God Almighty for people such as Beth Townsend and others who have helped us to become knowledgeable of what is going on in the industry. We have some other movies coming. We want you to know. Get yourself ready. Because Hollywood has heard us speak, and they, yes. they're saying, if we produce it, they will come. Yes, they have. And we, it's, it's good. It is good. It's good. Some of you think that, well, nobody listens to us Christians. Yes, they do. And we, I can't stop talking about the wonderful time we had with the group we were with. People were shouting, and people were clapping, and people uh, were shedding tears, and people were laughing. Mm -hmm. and laughing. It was such a wonderful event, and we want you to go. Beth, what else do you have to say? Anything else about the magazine, about what you're doing, what, how God's using you? Well, I just, I just believe that um, encourage, be encouraged because God is calling people to step into uh, ministries, different calls in their life. And I believe that God's grace, I had a pastor in Atlanta used to say there's a brilliant moment in every Christian's life where your faith intersects with God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And that is where the brilliance begins to happen because we have to step out in faith and know that God has called us to something. Amen. It's not going to be easy. No. And you have to walk out on that cliff and you have to step into that. And then you begin to experience that grace. Amen. With something like this magazine, I mean, every month I'm nervous. Every month I'm afraid that, you know, just getting it all together. And that's how he keeps me on my knees. Amen. And we have so many people that have come alongside to work with us to do that. So. Amen. I say be encouraged by what God is doing as a, as a city, as a nation, but yet step out in faith into what he's called you to do because only you can do what God has called you to do. Amen. That's there, a good point. There is no, good point. you know, it, it, and we're all unique in that. And so I just think that um, to believe the big believe that he's called us to do something with our lives and it, it has great impact on his kingdom and once we all come together and step into that then we start something that's just eternal amen i applaud you uh for stepping out and uh off the cliff stepping out in faith and trusting yes. god and it's remarkable the magazine hasn't been around but what a few months now hmm? well, our first edition was in april Yes. And we have a, a magazine that is in Jackson, Mississippi, that Wonderful. is Metro Christian Living, and they've served as our business model. So we went and saw them first. I went and talked to them first and went through my, um, my group of people that I consider to be wisdom in my life. And 
we just kind of put together a plan. But they really helped us a lot with their business model because the business aspect of it is very important as well. So those mentors in in the callings that we have and the, mm-hmm. the people of wisdom and, you know, my husband, the spouses, the small groups, the Amen. people in your life, uh, talk to them and, and get that, uh, that wise perspective from which to begin a foundation of something and then step out and do it. Amen. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying yes to God and not knowing all of the details. Mm-hmm. You know, God yeah. says, I need somebody to go to Baton Rouge to do. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir, there's a call. Good. Hello. Hi. Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm well. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, first of all, the gentleman is Hilton Glass. And what I'm going to ask you to do is call me off the air, and I will get contact information for you. Uh, my number is 225-305-3006. And I want to thank you for listening on Saturday at our broadcast. We're here every Saturday morning, and we have great guests as we do this morning. And we definitely would like to encourage you to become uh, involved with what we're doing as far as building the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Again, that number is 225-305-3006. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you so very much for being with us today. I thank you for having me. Blessed us so much. I'm so glad I met you both. Yeah, well, this is the beginning of a powerful team that God is putting together that's got the devil on his heels because this city is a Christian city as our state and our nation is, and we will not stop proclaiming that message. I want to take a second, however, and remind everyone we are one week. Say it with me, everybody. One week. One week. One week away from the next uh, Kingdom School of Witnessing. You have one week. And in fact, today is the day you've got to make your registration known by going to the website, www.kingdomgroup.co, in order to enjoy the discount tuition for the school. We are scheduled to be next Saturday uh, with uh, Pastor Elvin Augustus, who will be at the Ministry of New Life, 941 Eddie Robinson Drive. We start at 8 a.m., We're finished about noon. It's a half-day school that focuses on causing you or teaching you how to share your faith. Remember that ugly statistic I gave last week and the week before? 95% of all believers have never led one person to Christ. You can get out of that group. You can get over into the 5% and be knowledgeable on how to simply share your faith. We want you to join us in that class. Please go today to the website. Otherwise, after today, uh, we will go to our regular calls on the class. But we need you in there. We need you today to do this. www.kingdomgroup.co And uh, we look to enjoy your presence in the school. Now, I must do this because I've committed to God to do it, and I have very short time left, but I have to do this. If you're listening this morning and you're not sure that you would go to heaven, if you're not sure you would spend your eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to simply pray a very simple prayer with me. If you believe that Jesus Christ is God, if you believe that he died at Calvary, was buried and rose on the third day, please pray this prayer with me this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I am, Lord, I realize this morning that I am a sinner, and I'm sorry for my sins, and I repent of my sins. Dear Jesus, forgive me of my sins, and come into my heart and save me. Thank you, Lord, for my new life. Thank you for saving me. 
Thank you for never leaving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer today for the first time, please know that the Lord God has saved you and you have a place in heaven. We thank God for you. We want you to go to the website. You can learn more about what you should do now that you are a believer. And we just thank God for all that you continue to do, Lord, in our lives. Thank you for being with us today. And to God be glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen.